Assalamu alaikum. Welcome my students again to your English classes. In this video we're going to have the last lesson in our unit which is writing. We will work with pages. 93 in your student book. Pages. 82 and 83 in your workbook. Our objectives today are First of all, we're going to read a newspaper article, then learn about the use of direct speech in writing. Now, you need to open your student book, page 93. Let's start with the first exercise. Look at the photos and read the article from the school newspaper. What did the volunteers do? You have to pause the video, then read the article. After reading the article, you have to answer this question. Hello again. What did the volunteers do? After reading the article, you have to answer the question by They cleaned the river. Let's move to the next exercise. Read the newspaper article again. Put the information in the correct order. The first question is When did they do it? When did they do it last Sunday? Next information is Who was involved? Who was involved? About 100 people went to the Longley Nature Reserve to clean up the river. Next information is What did they do? What did they do? The event was organized by the Clean Up Rivers project which helps to protect the environment. Next information is... Number 4. What was the opinion of the event? The last information is what is happening next. What is happening next? When is the next event? To check the cleanuprivers.org web page. Now, we have to look at the useful language box, then find more examples of direct speech in the text, what is the punctuation for exclamations. In the useful language, here you have to use direct speech in the newspaper articles, like Every summer, this is the example, every summer local volunteers collect rubbish which is thrown in the river. John Sanders from Clean Up Rivers told me we have to find more examples of direct speech in the text. Here in the same paragraph we can see we also found car tires, a fridge and an old bed, one volunteer said. In the next paragraph we can see it's a beautiful plant but dangerous because it covers everything, said the local plant expert. Lynn Douglas. Now, the next question is what is the punctuation for exclamations? We can see here exclamation mark. We also found car tires, a fridge, and an old bed. We can see that exclamation mark comes before the quotation or inside the quotation. These are the examples, and exclamation marks come inside the quote marks. The next exercise is here. We have to write these direct speech sentences with the correct punctuation. First example, what happened to the river, she asked. We have to put two quotation between the speech and Question mark, exclamation mark, or comma inside the two or the quote marks. Here we have to put the first quote, what happened to the river? Question mark, then quote, then she asked, finally, Falista. It's amazing, said Abby. It's amazing. Here we have to put two quote mark. Then comma, finally, full stop. Next, meet me at the river. Here we have exclamation mark. Then we have to clear out all this rubbish. We have here comma inside the, inside the quotes mark. Finally, are you coming to the next event? 
question mark, then code. Finally, I ask Tom, then Falista. Now we please move it quickly to your workbook, page 82. We have another newspaper article. We have to read Luke's article for his school newspaper. Why will he be on TV? So please pause the video, read the article, then try to answer why will Luke be on TV? The answer for this question is because he is on a TV program about saving quota. We can see the answer here. I went to a meeting about saving quota. Next exercise. We have to complete Luke's article for his school newspaper. Use the words in the box. We have explained, told, asked, and said. They are all reporting verbs. Here we have an example. Do we save water? Asked my dad. Next one. One of them is a five minute limit on showers. They said. Number three. You only really need water at the end. They explain. Finally, we want to film you at home. They told, they told us. Next exercise here we have, or you have to read the article again, then try to answer these questions. So pause the video, try to answer these questions, then replay it to check your answers. Come on, let's start with the example. What was the meeting about? A meeting about saving water here in the first paragraph, first line. So reducing the water you, uh, you use at home. Number two, who organized it? In the same paragraph, the second line, the event was organized by a local TV channel. Number three, what do Luke's family have to do? The answer is also here. My family volunteered to try to reduce the amount of water we use, so to save water. Number four, what is the maximum time for a shower to save water? water we can find the answer here in the second paragraph one of them is a five minute limit on showers so five minutes let's check our answers number five and six is your homework now let's move to the next exercise here we have to write these sentences in direct speech so we have reported speech or reported question. We have to write them in the direct speech. Number one, he explained that we are participating in a TV program. So you are participating in a program or in a TV program. He asked me how much water I use. So how much, how much water do you use? This is the direct question. Number three, they explained that it's very easy to save water. So, it's very easy to save water. This is the direct speech. Number four, he told me it will be on TV tomorrow. So, it will be on TV tomorrow. Finally, they said we use too much water. You use too much water. We have to change the pronouns. Exercise number five here we have to circle the correct time linkers. Number one, we went to a meeting and and afterwards they told us about the program. Number two, they told us to turn off the TV when we went to bed. We use while with past or present continuous. Number three, one a day. A TV crew came to my house. You have to complete number four and five as the same one. Please turn the next page. In exercise number six, we have to complete the sentences with the active or passive form of the verbs in a bracket. You don't have to forget that. The form of the passive verb is verb B plus past participle. Number one, the TV crew filmed me switching off lights in the house, this is active sentence. Number two, the meeting was organized 
by a local TV channel because here we don't have who is responsible for this action number three they explained different ways to save energy number four we were asked lots of questions about different habits number five they worked out how much energy we could save in a, in a month finally all the videos were posted online the week after the program number seven here we had to read the sentences which one does not give background information when you read all the sentences you will find that number two doesn't give background information which is my family and i will be on tv next month in exercise number eight you have to read the article again they make notes about the things luke writes about number one who is involved luke his family and local tv channel number two what they did let's move again and see what they did so my family volunteered to try to reduce the amount of the amount of water we use the next information is when they did it when they did it last month next information is what happened they went to a meeting to and we're told how to save water next one what the consequences were they this family learned how to save water finally what is happening next they're going to be on tv finally it's your turn you have to imagine you are participating in a tv program about saving energy you're going to write an article about it for the school newspaper make notes for each heading in exercise eight write your article look at page 93 of the student's book to help you after writing you have to check your writing by say yes to these questions is the information from the list in exercise 8 in your article then have you used direct speech in your article have you used time linkers correctly have you used the active and passive correctly have you given the reader some background information? Finally, are the spelling and punctuation correct? Do you need to write a second draft? That's all my students in our class. If you have any question, please contact me on WhatsApp. See you next time. Goodbye.